episode of the YouTube channel. It's a little bit bouncy, sorry. I don't have a gimbal yet, we'll get there. For those of you who don't know us, this is Anna. I call her Anna. Gabby. Everyone calls her Gabby. Um, I like to be different. That's a story for another time. So we figured we'd just take the poops out for a walk, fly the drone a little bit, and talk about the trip. 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 Yep. So let's talk about the backstory to the trip. What happened originally? Everything started because we decided to go camping on Christmas. It was freaking hot. It was a very bad experience for everyone involved because we didn't have the proper gear or anything like that. But just like enjoy the camping part. So we decided to upgrade. We started to get like better camping gear and eventually we got our current car. And it was just awesome. And we just kept keep like, camping yep. a lot of the time. Um, and we just like fell in love with the idea of just spending the whole year doing a trip around Australia. But then last year we kind of like decided to just put a pin on it for a while from my business, his business, my work, his business. And uh, we just decided to just give it a, a time for both of us and then we'll go back to the idea. And now that we are both in a situation where we already can make decision or just working remotely, um, we decided to go back to the idea and I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. Where did the whole original van life thing come from? Oh my god, I don't even know. I think it was like just YouTube videos, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we were inspired originally by YouTube. Because <laughs> the original plan was... Oh no, I'm tangled by the poops. To take him, um, the, the original plan was for us to get a, a Mercedes Sprinter van. <laughs> and we we're going to fit it out all inside. And then we we're going to spend a year traveling around Australia. Which ended up not being the best for, for us specifically. Yeah. That didn't kind of work, so we were planning to leave on like. <laughs> and this is the. This is the. This is his enjoyment of life, we just sneak around everything. Hot bat. <laughs> yeah, so we're actually meant to leave on January 1st, 2020. And we got to like. It was around about this time last year. And we're like, yeah, this is not going to happen. I don't been, been been in Aureus for two years, and it was not going to work. Um, so we decided to pull the pin, which was a blessing in disguise because of Rona. That's so true. Imagine that. That would have been real bad. Oh my goodness. Then we kind of put a pin in it, and then just kind of dropped the whole idea completely. We didn't reset a date. We didn't do anything. Dobby's Dobby's very antisocial. <laughs> it's a story for another time. Life just resumed, yep. and then we oh, bought. Oh, there was the fires as well, right? Yeah, the fires yeah. too. That would have been real bad too. We kind of just like went back to life as normal. Yep. We bought the FJ. We started camping, doing more stuff, and then we kind of picked up the idea again. Oh, it's a friend! Somebody's got a friend. It's a friend. Yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, 
Dobby's real weird. We come to the, the dog park. This is like the first time to the dog park in a long time. It's too much stimulation. This is a bad idea. We're gonna get there eventually. We've been so busy with this whole like work from home thing and basically life's just been mental and everything's been going good, but we kind of forgot all about the plan. We went camping and we were like, hey, why don't we fire up this whole thing again? And also like, here's the thing, right? We went camping and we realized that it's possible for us to work from whenever. Yeah. We spent a whole week in this place that barely had reception and both of us could do our work normally as well. With everything that we learned, we did it the right way because I think we would have had a really different experience if we would have gone earlier, right? Yep. Um, probably not as good as experience probably and I think <laughs> I think that goes for everything I'm super impatient I want everything like yesterday um, which is sometimes a problem <laughs> um, but I think this all kind of this kind of panned out for the best in the end plan of attack is this where we've just bought a troopy and 2018 troop carrier. It's got a pop top roof conversion already. It's gonna have it like fully fitted out inside. We're basically gonna be able to like live off grid. Cause I guess our style is like not to be a, like in caravan parks and like, yeah. we've got a story for that. <laughs> you, <laughs> we've got a real good story for that. Um, one of our camping adventures. <laughs> a lot of our camping adventures have sucked, <laughs> but in hindsight, they've been good fun. It was just like, that, that was because yeah, it's so true. we had to stay like um, where we would have facilities and where we would like, you know, just be able to, to do all the things that we need to do. Yeah, but I think the best experience is the ones that suck in the moment, yep. but are like in hindsight fun. <laughs> so that's that was a thing. We're going to be fully set up with like we're researching heaps of stuff. We're like really particular on how everything's going to be set up and what that's going to look like. Our, we've, we've researched a lot. We know exactly what we're going to do to have B set up. We've started trying to map out the plan in terms of travel plans and what it's all going to look like. So we're leaving it around about March, hopefully, if everything's all set up. If Corona is gone. And Rona's gone. And we're going to go north so we can kind of like chase the sun. So we'll be in like the northern part of Australia for the hotter, uh, for the colder months and then the bottom part of Australia for the hotter months, which is still gonna be hot, but less hot than being like in Cairns in summer. We don't want that. <laughs> we don't want the that. The is gonna die yeah, if we do that. He's like, it's like 20 degrees today and the pug is like dying. Um, we're gonna 
set up everything in the vehicle. We're gonna have like Wi-Fi, we're gonna have a cell phone reception booster, we're gonna have like hopefully lots of contingency plans. <laughs> although hopefully enough contingency plans. Although I've been told that reception is an issue. That's something we're gonna have to deal with along the way. Reception's perfect, boss. <laughs> Don't let my boss find out. That's super exciting. So let's talk about the next kind of few months. Between now and December, it's really about selling the FJ, which is nearly done. It's going to be about getting the business ready and like your work ready for us being like less available and like further away. It's gonna be Kind of starting to sell off all of our stuff which we've already started <laughs> which already to do started, yeah. question what's one thing that you really don't want to sell but you think we have to oh gosh i don't know I, to be honest i'm not very attached to stuff <laughs> don't be he's, he's very distracted like dog. um yeah, I don't. I don't think like there's anything that I'm like. No, I need to take it. Like the guitar, but I mean. We're gonna take one guitar. You know what I mean? Like it, 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 there isn't like one thing that I'm like. I'm mm. very detached with this kind of thing. You know that I kind of clean everything every once a, a year and just like threw everything away. So. I'm not looking forward to getting rid of my new office setup. <laughs> oh my how, god, it's true. How I went my whole life without that, I have no idea. No, you know what? Wait for the summer. And I think that you're gonna change your mind by, by March. Yeah, it's hot in there. Yeah. But as if it's not gonna be hot when we're on the road. Yeah, but hopefully it's gonna have like insulation. It's, it's gonna be fresh inside. This is definitely something that we need to look into. Yeah, well, we'll see how we go. That's what we're gonna do. And our plan is gonna be, we're gonna do a trial month in January. So we're not sure where we're gonna go yet. Where should we go? gonna be hot so know. maybe we should go south yeah that's probably a good idea because like here's the thing the dogs really really suffer with the temperature especially Pug. Yes. he gets really sick so we need to be careful with the temperatures um so <laughs> so this little bastard is taken care of uh and that was one of the problems in our first trip it was extremely hot and the pug was like allergies was flaring up and he's an old man with health issues you yeah. know so we need to take care of him yep so, so I agree, it should be south, but honestly, I don't know much of Australia other than, you know, cities with university that I travel around for work. So I'm excited for whatever. So yeah, we're going to trial a month and then come back and like fine tune whatever happens in the business or with work or with like the vehicle. Be ready to go in March, which will be really cool. What are you looking forward to most? Just knowing Australia better, because to be honest, I'm, I'm here for like, what? six years now and I don't know much and I'm excited for that part and just like I love traveling around so that's gonna be super cool and I love just being with you guys yeah so I'm gonna love that part as well yep it's gonna be good it'll be good to like declutter and know what it's like to live minimalist yeah I mean to be fair I don't think we have much stuff anyway yeah, but still, there's like stuff... I know, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, there's, there's creature comforts that are <laughs> going to be lost, I'm sure. <laughs> Guys, let us know if you've got any questions about the trip, uh, questions about business, how we're getting the business ready, um, question about how we're getting the rig set up to make sure that that's suitable. Uh, if you've got any questions about how we get set up to go, um, feel free to let us know. If you're interested in following us, uh, make sure that you drop a like, drop a follow, and if you've got any questions, drop some comments below. Uh, we'll be releasing a video every week, uh, and we want to make sure that you get to see uh, what you want to see. Uh, so uh, looking forward to sharing the journey with you guys.